Let's say you're an owner of a major sports franchise, head of a big time league or athletic program. You need to hire somebody for a very important position. Who do you call? News 12 New Jersey's Joey Waller tells us the nation's most influential sports headhunter is a New Jersey guy. After years as a college and NFL assistant coach, landing most of UCLA's 1982 Rose Bowl champion starters, recruiting is in Jen Hughes's blood. But after 15 years doing executive recruiting, this Newark native's new game plan involves finding leaders for some of the premier organizations in sports. Whether you're calling a defense or putting someone in a job, you need to understand their background and you need to understand the requirements of the job so that you make the two work. In Hughes's Manhattan office sits the Pyramid of Success, written by his late friend, legendary UCLA basketball coach John Wooden. In January, Hughes would launch the sports division for the world's leading executive search firm, Corn Ferry International, where he's extolling the Woodenism, make greatness attainable by all. Hughes's placements include New Jets president Neil Glatt. It could be taking Neil Glatt from the league office and putting him in with a team. You know, the NFL doesn't notoriously train executives go to the team. He makes recommendations, not hires, but Hughes's placements, some unorthodox, include Green Bay Packers President Mark Murphy, Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby, Pac-12 Commissioner Larry Scott, MLB Network President Tony Petiti, Michigan football coach Brady Hoke, and Michigan Athletic Director Dave Brandon. And hiring Dave Brandon as the AD of Michigan, you know, here's a person who's the chairman of Domino's, you know, making probably $20 million a year and you hire him to go back to his alma mater to be the athletic director, and he's turned the whole program around. Hughes is coached under a Mount Rushmore of legends, such as Michigan's Bo Schembechler, Stanford's John Ralston, UCLA's Terry Donahue, the Minnesota Vikings' Bud Grant, and the Pittsburgh Steelers' Chuck Knoll. I can pick up the phone and call most uh, every head coach in, in any sport and get them to return my call and talk to me about somebody and get better insight than an owner could because I've paid the price of being a coach. At 64, Hughes is reinventing himself, proving another woodenism. Good values attract good people. My father was a psychoanalyst. My mom a guidance counselor. It's been in my DNA, assessing people. My PhD is in organizational behavior. So, I mean, I've been around it my whole life. So there's a gut instinct you get about people. And I think that's the, I think that's a key piece, key piece.